Let's create a custom POI, as in point of interest, list with custom icon. Oh yeah, we're going to do that. How do we do it? Well, what do we need? We need GPS Babel. Well, we need Google Maps, but you know where that is. Maps.google.com. GPS Babel. Free software, which is available for Windows. Mac and Linux. If you happen to be running a Linux distribution, that's probably in your software repository just by searching for it. That's cool. And this is for Windows. This is Irfan View, which is a image viewer slash editor. Looks like this. Free. Click. Okay. And good old Windows Notepad, or any text editor. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to start in Notepad. Now yours will say Windows or Notepad up here, but just follow along and we'll get this done. All right, so what we're going to do is that we're going to use the format Universal CSV with field structure and first line. Sounds complicated? It is not. It's actually quite easy. So the first line is going to be lat, L-A-T, latitude, comma, lawn, which means longitude, comma, name, comma, desk, as in description. There's your first line. And now we need to put in some locations in here. So I'm going to look up some Kroger's. And I'm going to get them. Okay, what do we got here? We will do this guy right here. First, I need to get some coordinates. So there's the Kroger. Let me put on the satellite view. There we go. Right in front of the entrance. That's what I want. So I will right click and then left click the coordinates. Copy the clipboard. Back to Notepad. Right click Paste. It puts in a little space. Get rid of the space. Then a comma. So now I've got the first part. Lat slash lawn. And now I need to give it a name. So I will call this one... Let's click on this and see where it's at. Okay, I will call it Kroger Little Elm. Now being this has spaces in the name, I will surround it in quotes, quotation marks, so Kroger Little Elm, and then a comma. And the last part is the description, which I will just put as the address, so I can go right here, copy the clipboard, surround this, in quotes, paste. You make that a little wider, so there we go. Okay, there's my first Kroger. Now each name, by the way, does have to be unique. So if I just named all these Kroger, 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 mm -mm, nope. But we can do it if you give them all individual names. So let's go to another one. I'll go to, just click this one right here. I'm just putting in locations. All right, let me get rid of this. And where is the entrance? Okay, right here. Right click. Left click, copy clipboard, into notepad, right click, paste, get rid of the space. Okay, this one's, I will name it, okay, get that window back. Uh, I'll call it... Oh, located in Custer Stars. A Kroger Custer Star. That sounds like a good name. Kroger Custer Star. End quote. And my description will be the address. Click. Copy clipboard. Quote. Paste. Quote. And we'll do one more. We'll do this guy. Okay, close that, go right to the entrance, and right-click, left-click, get coordinates, 
and control V to paste to get rid of the space comma and this one I will call get that window back seven uh, independent I'll call it uh, legacy drive village okay I'll just call it Kroger legacy quote Kroger legacy comma and get the address for the description quote paste quote good now we don't save this as a text file we save it as a csv comma separated value which is exactly what this is value comma value comma value comma value okay file save as now i made a folder on my desktop just called poi to keep this nice and simple now it's going to want to save it as text so what we do is go to all files instead now i have some stuff in here already i saved this previously but just pretend this is not here and i'll just call it kroger.csv and save it's going to give me an overwrite notice but i say yes okay this part is done and the maps part is done now what we need to do is actually go to get an icon a custom icon for this so this is where the Irfan view comes into play okay we are at googleimages.com and I'm just going to search for Kroger and then the next thing I'm going to do is click on tools and then go to size and change that to icon so I get square icon stuff if I can find one okay that one looks good I want a nice square oh here we go this one right here click now on this image here I'm using the Firefox browser by the way but it should work similar in Chrome and Edge Safari whatever you you are using so I will right click and copy image not the link the image it's in the clipboard right now bring up Irfan view edit paste there's my Kroger icon and the first thing I will do is resize now this is very specific ultra specific it has to be a 24 by 24 as in a square of 24 pixels by 24 pixels so 24 24 resize first okay right now I have to decrease the color depth image because right now it says here 24 by 24 by 24 uh, excuse me 24 by 24 24 bit this needs to be changed to 8 bit because that is what the Garmin understands so image and then decrease color depth to 56 colors and say okay now it doesn't look like much happened but we did decrease the color depth and now it is 8 bits per pixel so 8 BPP file and save as okay now I already have it here but I'm going to just save over it now what it's supposed to be let me just bring that in view is a BMP file so I would just call it if it will it may try to save default as a JPEG or a PNG but you just type in Kroger.BMP and then save okay so this is now saved very good if I examine what I have so far there's my icon now the GPI thing I've already done this previous but pretend this is not as a matter of fact I will go ahead and delete that this is what you will have you have your comma separated value and you got your bitmap okay that's what we got so far now we go into GPS Babel firstly file preferences formats and make sure comma separated value is there but more importantly you do not have to check all these this is just all the formats and supports what you do need is Garmin points of interest GPI you need that checked and I'll have to scroll down to show this and there we go universal CSV 
Whitfield structure in first line. Those two must be checked. If you don't want to check anything else, you don't have to. You can enable or disable all, but those two, you need to do this. So make sure those are checked and click OK. Now this is already populated. Pretend this is blank for a minute. Anyway, so for the top one, that's the input file, that is universal CSV with field structure in first line. And the second one you choose as garment points of interest. OK. So I'm going to take my CSV here and drag it over here. There we go, CSV. Minimize that. We want to translate the waypoints, yes we do, and so on. And now down here, we do Garmin points of interest and click on options. And this is where I do use use specified bitmap on output. And that is where I click on, sorry, went a little fast there, click on the little tiny icon over here to find your bitmap, which is Kroger.bmp. OK default category on output. Let's just say this, and it is, this entire list is just Kroger places. Okay, so we have that. And create unique waypoint names. Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. And okay. Oh, I'm sorry, no output file. I forgot to specify that. Click on this over here. Put it in your folder. And I'm going to just call this uh, Kroger.gpi. It does have to be as a GPI. You can change it to all files. You, all files. you don't have to. This Kroger.gpi or whatever you want to name it. Mine's going to be called this. Save. It populates this field. So we got this field populated, this one, and this one. We're good. Hit OK. Translation successful. It did the thing. And then when we go in the folder, now we have our GPI. Alrighty then. What now? Well, what now is that I go ahead and plug in a Garmin device via USB, which I'm doing right now. I will use a new V50 for this since I was just doing that with the last video. Now, I should note that while that's detecting, um, in the 50, it's under an icon called Extras, and in later models, it is under Categories and then Custom POIs. And you may think, well, I don't have Custom POIs. Right, you don't, until you actually make something to put in there, which I will show right now. Okay, it's detected. I go into the new... Now, before I go in here, you may see yours as something different with a Garmin icon. On this one in particular, this model shows as drive letters. Some of them don't. Some will just show as, uh, for example, the 2597. It'll just show as one icon, 2597. But regardless, it will look similar to this once you go in. So I'll just open this. Now, you usually will not see a folder called POI. It'll be next to Garmin and all the other folders here. You, if it's not there, now I have it here. Some of them have it, most don't. So let me just get rid of this first. So this one, in fact, it did because it put in some type of Cyclops sample thing for red light cameras and whatever. If the folder does not exist, you have to create the folder POI. And then what we do in here is we copy our GPI copy and paste into there and it's it we're done more or less when we fire up the newbie and take a look and see if it's there with our custom icons so uh i'll be right back okay here we are with the new v50 with some fresh plis in there we're gonna see if it actually took Just unplugged it from the PC. Okay, let us go and turn on the simulator. You don't have to do the simulator thing. I'm just doing that. Make it a little faster and easier to show you. Okay, now, on this, there's a choice called extras. 
if you were, I said this in the earlier part, but if you were on a 2597 or a newer model, you would see uh, from the main wear two screen categories like up around here and then custom POIs. Anyway, extras, custom POIs. Hey, there's my Kroger's. Okay. Let us zoom in. There's my icon. There it is. And when you drive by it, it will actually show it too. On every one of them, this should be here. Let's zoom in. Yeah. And it will also show um, in 3D view as well. And if I look at the... Yeah, see? Custer start, and there's the thing I pasted. Yeah, it works. Sweet. Now one final note before I end this video. POIs. When you send these over to the new v, driver drive smart are non-editable. You cannot edit these. They're not like favorites. They're meant to be permanent lists. You can modify them on your computer. Like if see over here in the computer, which I was just showing a moment ago. If you go into Notepad and yeah, you can edit it there and then send it back over to the newbie. But when on the actual device, not editable at that point. Just want to make that clear. So, but anyway, yeah, we did it.